We don't shake hands around here. We hug. <laughs> That was an amazing introduction, probably the best I've ever had. Thank you, Mark. Oh, right on, man. You know, that's how we do it. I also, uh, my, my side business is writing epitaphs for, for headstones. So, <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> you started making music. How long ago? How old were you? Were you like, uh, I have this picture in my mind that you were like, three years old and you're dancing for your parents and they were like, he's good, yeah. he's good at this. No, they were like, can you please stop? <laughs> yeah. But I, I've i always been involved with music my whole life. I was in choirs and, and the marching band. I was a big nerd growing up. But I played trumpet in the marching band. I was, you know, like always involved in projects musically and artistically. So it's, it's kind of always been in my blood just making music and stuff. So and dancing and having a good time. It's been an important part of that music process, so. And did you move to Brooklyn uh, long ago? Have you been in, in New York, in the New York area for a while? Um, I've been in New York for six years. Actually, okay. seven years okay. this month, actually. Seven years. Oh, that's wild. Wow. So, and I came from uh, the ATL, the 404. Oh, wow. So, um, I grew up with a lot of uh, influences, a lot of musical influences growing up in Atlanta was like a, a big thing for me. And it's, it's a really rich music city, so you can't really escape that, you know? Right, right. So, yeah. From the dirty south, I'm very <laughs> proud of it. So. Yeah! <laughs> um, now, with that background, because when I listen to your music, I hear Miami bass, I hear, uh, I, believe it or not, I hear like uh, 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 Israeli dance music, I hear, uh, uh, I hear gospel music, I hear techno music, I hear uh, New Orleans uh, 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 dance, you know what I'm saying? Uh, funeral music. Um, how do you think your music, and, and this actually may not be a question that you can answer, but how do you think your music touches people from where you're from? Do they know what you're doing now in New York? Yeah, I just, actually, I just played a show in Atlanta. Oh, uh, In December, so I think people, I, people are more familiar with what I'm doing here in New York, of course, because I just kind of keep it local, but I play shows in Atlanta and in Miami. Oh. This man's international so, people. And yeah, we've been in a lot, we've been to a lot of places, been up and down the East Coast and a little few places on the West Coast. But I think you know I've got like a, a bigger following in New York. But people in Atlanta are definitely like hip to, to what I'm doing, and I keep it. I have my little promotions crew down there that are distributing oh, stuff. Your screen me, so team. My screen team. So. <laughs> and and to really like to 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 let's backtrack a little bit because uh, of course. The Pumpster is a musician, he is an entity, a persona. But before uh, the Dirty Nanas, shout out, uh, were, were formed, right? Uh, you were DJing parties and promoting parties called... Oh yeah, yeah, we say it together. Cause we're gonna put some reverb on this later. Kill Whitey. <laughs> And, and it's okay, you don't have to be afraid because there's a white person right here. And he was, you know. <laughs> it's all right, he has sanctioned me, because he's an honorary black person, so he has sanctioned me, he has vested in me the authority and the power to say the words, kill white team. Marcus, you can say whatever you want to say. Can I? Yes. Oh, right on. We're going to touch on that later too, because I am Marcus Farrar host of the Marcus Ferrara show. <laughs> Edit that out. 